hope you are all doing well in today's lecture we will discuss about temkin isotherm model it is an isotherm model that deals basically with heat of adsorption that is delt h adsorption as we all know adsorption is a physical phenomena in which a solar substance adsorb on a surface of either a liquid or a solar substance which is known as adsorbent adsorption basically involves either absorption of heat or removal of heat from a surface and in that manner the heat evolves or absorb is known as heat of adsorption this heat of adsorption is denoted as del h adsorption of whole process so the amount of heat released or absorbed or the relation between heat of adsorption and percentage adsorption is described well by temkin isotherm model as we have already discussed it earlier that the adsorbent surface has many small active sites or uh, porous surface and that active sites which favor adsorption are known as adsorption site when all of these active sites are fully covered by adsorbate molecule adsorbate is a substance that adsorb on other substance so when adsorbent surface is fully covered by adsorbate molecules then we say we can say it that surface coverage of adsorbent takes place and the surface of adsorbent that is covered by adsorbate is usually represented by symbol theta and the surface that is uncovered or the surface where adsorption does not take place it is represented as 1 minus theta so basically theta represent the surface or portion of surface that is fully covered or fully um, interact with adsorbate molecule by adsorption process while 1 minus theta is defined as the uncovered or uh, uncovered surface or the surface where adsorption does not take place so temkin isotherm model says that there is a linear relationship between surface coverage theta and heat of adsorption that is when any kind of adsorbate molecule adsorb on the surface of a substance then there may be some amount of heat either it is evolved or absorbed and this amount of heat is known as heat of adsorption and greater the percentage of adsorption greater will be heat of adsorption so according to temkin isotherm model there exists a linear relationship between heat of adsorption and surface coverage theta so moving towards its uh, equation form here you can see temkin isotherm model is represented or its linear form is given as this one when we plot a graph between QE and natural log CE values which we have already calculated and discussed in um, excel sheet calculation of isotherm models if you have not checked those videos um, we will give a link of that playlist in description box you can easily check from them uh, from uh, that link we have already discussed how to calculate ce natural log ce and qe uh, so basically when you plot a graph between qe and natural log ce such a plot or such a graph is known as is uh, temkin isotherm model and from slope and intercept of that graph we can easily calculate temkin isotherm constant here you can check qe is the equilibrium uh, adsorption capacity at time equilibrium r is ideal gas constant t is temperature bt bt is a temkin constant having unit of joule per mole at is also a temkin isotherm constant having unit of liter per gram ce is basically concentration of adsorbate solution at equilibrium point 
and so on uh, it is equal to rt b divided by bt natural log at plus natural log ce and so on so now move towards its excel sheet calculation here you can see a temkin isotherm plot which is um, plotted between natural log ce on x axis and qe on y axis so when you plot a graph between natural log ce and qe on y axis from um i saw some um, calculations which we have already discussed in previous sections that how to calculate qe and ce uh, from the link uh, given in description you can easily check from uh, uh, from that link how to calculate each value so when you plot a graph between natural log ce and qe you will get a straight line and this straight line um from the uh, from trend line of this graph we can easily calculate isotherm uh, constant values here you can see uh, it is um, y is equal to mx plus c this value 21.2 is basically slope of the graph while 5.12 is the intercept according to uh, equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the intercept of graph its rsk value is 0.9354 make sure uh, whatever the graph whatever the isotherm models or kinetic models you discussed in your uh, research paper or research thesis uh, make sure its rsk value is always near to 1 or it may also be equal to 1 but uh, rsk value very less than 1 uh, or uh, you can say uh, it may either it is uh, 0.6 0.5 it is not usually accepted rsk value should always be equal to 1 or it is near to 1 that is it's always greater than 0.9 so now discuss how we can calculate bt and at constant values from this graph here you can check from temkin isotherm model b is equal to slope that is the slope value of graph is always equal to b it is known as yet or denoted by b so here in this graph 21.2 is equal to b next one is how to calculate at so for at calculation here you can check a formula natural log at is equal to intercept divided by bt so for this we have to calculate uh, we have to first calculate bt so for calculation of bt we use formula bt is equal to rt divided by b so for bt calculation we have to multiply ideal gas constant r value that is 8.314 uh, with the multiply 10 to power for calculation of bt we have to multiply ideal gas constant 8.314 with temperature of the uh, experiment used uh, at at that temperature where the experiment is performed for example if the experiment is performed at room temperature which is uh, 25 or 30 degree celsius then you have to take that temperature value or if you have optimized the temperature parameter then you should use that uh, temperature value at which your experiment was performed so first multiply ideal gas constant with temperature t then divide it with slope value that is b value and then you will get the value of bt put this value of bt in this equation that is intercept divided by bt divide intercept value by value of bt you shall get natural log at but here the problem is we want to calculate only at value not natural log at for calculation of at value you have to take natural log on other side that is you have to take the anti log of uh, this intercept divided by bt so when you take anti log of this it will always be equal to at so here in this way you can easily calculate value of b and at make sure you have to use the correct unit for each constant for example for b uh, it is its unit is joule per mole while for at its unit is liter per gram so 
in this manner by plotting a graph between natural log ce and qe you can easily calculate at and b values from slope and intercept of this graph this are uh, this is all about temkin isotherm model in next videos we will discuss more other isotherm and kinetic models stay tuned with young researchers thank you very much allah hafiz